are still in the gardens of the Kelus Palace and they are of course very large and very rich gardens and there are many such statues like this one where a guy is ready to chop off the head of another guy as these uh, decorations are inspired from mythology and for example we have here this two-faced statue and just like in France there is a you know geometric garden like okay let me show you here see and then there is a lot of, of water fountains that can serve um, let's say if the fire if the castle should catch fire so they are also helpful for that and you see the castle is blue and right here is this fountain or river not sure how it was used but it, it's full of these azulejos tiles and so see there are stairs here and the water it's just a little so it was not a river and even here inside it is full of tiles very the condition is quite bad and even inside they are doing heavy restoration works but see like the entire border here has this azulejos and I really wanted to come here because it is considered very one of the very beautiful cast castles of Portugal and it is in between Sintra and Lisbon so now we are not in Lisbon and by the way sorry for posting um, Santorini and Knossos and whatever not videos mixed but I had a very long trip and I was filming many many things and I could not upload them until now and my memory is full so the phone is full so now I just have to upload and erase them and that's why it happens that I'm in Santorini or Heraklion and then back and forth Portugal uh, so it's a pity that I couldn't do it chronologically look this here these staircases is just here of course it looks very nice on the photo so think of it imagine this one because now they have huge uh, restoration works and it was really nice to see inside there were many young people probably students who were helping with the restorations and I really love this blue Ag uh, agapanthus flower it's so elegant this one see it's really really elegant with this long neck and then like a lily so it's a place to play game for the royalty is a botanical garden and then this one this year actually I really wanted to see this because um, so maybe we should try 135 meter doesn't sound so long 
and then you got oh and then there's a labyrinth <laughs> so this uh, Escola Portuguesa de Arte Equestre um, Hermes that famous French fashion brand dedicated a silk scarf to this Portuguese school of horse riding and since it's here and just 135 meters that doesn't sound much so maybe we should try okay let's try it go and see it and then I have to get back to Lisbon yeah what look now it's 300 meters come on people that's a huge difference this is like I don't know 10 meters okay I think we give up because it could be that it's all the way here three hundred meters okay this is really no plan damn it okay let's try to walk fast and see how many minutes do I need for 300 meters yeah so meanwhile you should take a look at this and it's a pity that they are so destroyed Okay, if we go up so slow, I will never make it. So yeah, uh, they have many. They have um, a lake and then a, a waterfall. I think it's on the other side. And here, some cr dragon crocodiles. But the general condition is not so fantastic. Maybe they did not have funds. Also, you know, there are not so many visitors to this Toulouse castle. So at least we... Oh, looks nice. Looks nice. So what we have, Neptune's Lake. And this one, okay, good. Yeah, yes. I suppose they did not have funds until now to keep it beautiful. And also there are so many, many castles in this area. I guess even the government doesn't know what to pay first. See, this fountain is clean because normally, I mean, the water is just a little bit green, but there are no dirty uh, al algae, anything in it. And then this flowers that just started to bloom so they they are just now starting looks very elegant and pretty Huge conifer trees. So that was the Neptune's fountain. And then, by the way, there is a, some army base over here. Yeah. Or 
is this Neptune? <sighs> Nothing exciting happening here because we are in the woods. <laughs> ah, and all these guys are drinking something. Or they are actually spilling it out, spitting it out. <laughs> There's a marking. Okay, let's better check the stupid map before. Okay, thank goodness. It is now suddenly 80 meters. So it's supposed to be here. So you people, horse boo, should Google Hermes Paris and then Google it together with this. Escuela Portuguesa de uh, Arte Ecuestre, something like that. And you will see the scarf that was dedicated to this. In the distance here we see a city. I think it's Queluz City. And it looks very colorful. Nothing happens here. We came for nothing, basically. Nothing happens. I suppose the horses are somewhere inside. We won't get to see any horse today. Plus, we have to walk all the way back. More stunning uh -oh. flowers here and Bougainvillea. <clears throat> oh shit, maybe we do get to see horses. Okay, that's one. student of the Escuela Portuguesa de Arte Ecuestre. Can you give us an interview? Okay, this one is a zombie. One pigeon, two pigeons. Now with pigeons I can deal much better. one definitely is gonna bite us. <laughs> Hello North Carolina! I'm trying to get an interview from one of the beasts here. gonna so get a copyright strike with this antique music wow can you imagine what a life to be in such a concrete box most of the time and do nothing like see that's why this one here is the total zombie or his lips not sure To see some horses so I was I was expecting like a big mark on the wall with a royal symbol saying Escuela Portuguesa de Arte Equestre but there is no symbol of this <laughs> there is no symbol because I want I'm not gonna take a picture of just a zombie horse so, at least we tried 
Now, let's make it back. So that's what you're supposed to wear, you know, and then the zombies awaken. Okay, let's run back on the same way that we came. And how is North Carolina on this sunny day in Portugal? Let's entertain you with the map. Okay, because now we're gonna go to the main entrance. So the place is super huge. Because at that time they had nothing better to do with their money. They could not buy Bitcoin. So to do yard hey what does it mean to do yard like cut the grass and stuff or you have a yard like this and you have to chop it good that you have yard work yard like courtyard like for example there are chickens and cows and you got to feed them grass and trees okay oh so north carolina is got to go working here are some orange trees and Those are the veggies for the princess. So stay safe in North Carolina and no national disaster, natural disasters. I'm wishing you. So as you see, all these castles have gardens, like even the ones where I didn't take it to the garden because they are pretty much similar. And they have of course farms and lakes. Something for the people living here to have an exercise to be walking around. Not that they actually were walking around in that era. And see they are cut like this. Like really, like you would see in the movies. <clears throat> the Shining or something, not sure. Someone is following you with a knife in, on such a narrow path. And also reminding of labyrinth, that would be an escape route. So Jorge actually explained us the flag, because I see the flag here, the Portuguese flag. So it's red, green and yellow. And green, see there is less green than red. So green is the land of Portugal and red is the blood that was spilled to protect the land and there is more blood than land is so that's why there is the slice with red is bigger than the slice with green and then there is that gold or yellow which signifies, signifies the discoveries that the seamen when they went around the world um, discovered new territories and brought wealth back to the country and I have to ask again Jorge 
were the Portuguese the ones who killed the Mayans, the Inca, who ordered a room full of gold and then three times that room full of gold and then they still chopped the head of the of the king of the Latin American tribe. But then they all died because of smallpox. So they died because they got sickness from these people who at that time had syphilis and what else Donald Trump also has. Okay, so enough with the gardens. I've had enough. Let's get out of this thing. I want to show you the actually blue side. So the blue building. So now we gotta find the escape. How can we get out of this thing? Someone help. I don't wanna go to the labyrinth. Exit! Another 300 meters. So this is the Robillion staircase. See, this is what you're supposed to wear. This. Okay. Almost. Right? Ta da! <laughs> So Jorge needs to tell us what is with the blue here. Is blue the theme of this castle? Castle Palace. And there is such a transportation item which would cost you three dollars at least three dollars then you can hop on hop off but like seriously it's as much as it costs the tra train all the way from bloody uh, how do I get out from Lisbon to here so the price is pretty much over the top. Damn, where's the exit? I'm wondering if I have to get back in to this to get out. Someone needs to Google map me or self map. So let's do that. Take a seat. Oh. Oh. Map. Okay. How can I get out of here? Ouch. Sorry for the patchy filming. Okay, that way is sure. Surely not the way. But oh my god, this thing has an inner yeah. This so basically we are we are about oh yeah we are down here and we get to go around this thing. Okay, let's do that. See, even here there are the beautiful tiles, yellow, and the geometric garden. Damn! Okay, let's hurry. The trees are pretty tall, so they've been here 
for a long while. And indeed stunning weather in Portugal, the breeze, the wind is nice. Now is this a secret? Look at this Huawei, how far he can show us. No oh, shit, did you see that? How far this phone can brighten and show us deep inside, like basically this is really pitch black with the real eyes. It's like this. You could not see nothing. <sighs> so no finally so yeah after 26 minutes of sticking with the video we finally get to some action action And she is a sphinx, obviously. Oh. And these are the hanging gardens. I'm not sure what is hanging because nothing hangs here. The water is very clean. I mean, quite clean. It could be much worse. Yo, finally this starts to look like a palace and finally I can take some selfies with this dress. Also admire the very perfectly cured grass or that thing that North Carolina has to chop now, the yard, yard. Okay, see, blue color theme. Oh, this is Poseidon. So not the guy that we met earlier, but this here. So finally, this starts to look worth watching, especially since there is a naked someone Diana and Adonis I suppose or Venus and Adonis Greek gods we can try to upskirt him but nothing okay and then this god of the Harvest. Yes, so at least I managed to take you to some nicer place and I will drop you off here after you will be looked down by this guy this is Medusa's head with the hairs made of serpents and then this guy this guy we can upskirt nothing he has nice shoes though Almost same. <laughs> so finally, we got to some place ah, that really looks like a castle. So happy about that, and we can peep inside. See. Nice double view of inside and outside. So, 
these totally look like soccer players nowadays okay so we made it to some nicer place I'm gonna drop you off and take your pictures and then go back to Lisbon to hunt a different destination as long as we have sunshine but I have to change the dress for the next one because blue is only here no blue nails okay so see you everyone in an hour or two see these things to avoid pigeons sitting on the columns this wire this metal pins so that no pigeon can shit and sit on the expensive castle of the dead people palace castle palace so see ya see ya Janne. this is how you say goodbye in Japanese Janne. not Jane <laughs>